This Findings videocast is brought to you by the National Institute of General Medical Sciences, part of the National Institutes of Health. The Findings videocast series features the NIGMS-funded scientists profiled in each issue of the Findings magazine. I'm Elisa Mihalik, a science writer at the National Institute of General Medical Sciences. I'm here with Dr. Omolola Iniola Adefaso, a professor of chemical engineering at the University of Michigan. Dr. Iniola, you are developing a way to deliver drugs right to the part of the body where they're needed to fight infection or disease. Can you tell us why this is important? The way we do it right now leads to two problems. The first one is we have to use a lot of drugs because we have to feed the entire body before it can get to the right location. But the second problem is um, the fact that every cell in the body does get that drug so that healthy cells are also getting drugs they don't need, which is what causes a lot of the side effects that we see with many drugs. So being able to put the drug in the right amount in the right location helps us um, use only the amount we need so we save money and then we don't get healthy cells sick. You've decided to approach this issue by putting medicines inside hollow biodegradable plastic beads that closely resemble one of the body's own ways of fighting disease, namely white blood cells. Can you tell us why white blood cells are a good example of how to deliver drugs to a specific location in the body? White blood cells are essentially the military of the body. Their job is to keep the human body healthy. And for the most part, uh, the neutrophils, which are the Coast Guard uh, likes uh, white blood cells, patrol the body looking for things out of place. When um, they get signals from the body um, at a specific location, which is usually a distress call, the white blood cells can immediately respond go locally to uh, the site of the problem and fix the problem. If we can understand how white blood cells do their job, then we, can, we believe we can make plastic beads that can do the same. In trying to design beads with the same capabilities as white blood cells, what have you learned so far? Well, we found that the best performing plastic uh, system that we can design are the ones that matches the white blood cells in their size and shape. The key is that we need the drug to come out once it gets to where we send the plastic uh, beads. We uh, figured that we needed to use biodegradable uh, plastics that can fall apart within days and, and weeks to release the drugs. The, the hope is that one day we will see some of this plastic beads that we're designing actually be used to cure human disease. You're studying how white blood cells exit the flow of traffic in the bloodstream, stick to the vessel wall, and move through into the tissue in order to fix diseased or injured tissue. Can you tell us how your background as an engineer gives you special insight into this problem? As uh, chemical engineers, what we learn is how blood or how a fluid flows through uh, a pipe and we view the human uh, blood vessel as a pipe. And we view the blood flow as a fluid, just like water flowing through a pipe. And we have unique um, understanding of the forces that come into play when we have a fluid flowing. So with that understanding, we are able to predict when and how and if uh, white blood cells can actually find their way to the wall and what types of pressure they are under once they're on the wall and how, how does that translate to their movement into the tissue. What do you think is the most exciting part of your job? My job lets me be a detective. I come in every day trying to solve mystery and the greatest mystery of all that we have in this world is the human body 